so today we'll be starting with the concept of mode now we have already discussed mean and median for the links which are given below in the description and today we'll be starting off with mode so the first things first what do you mean by mode by mode we refer to the maximum number of repetitions or the number of times a particular class is repeated the maximum number of time a particular class is repeated it is considered mode for example the highest frequency whenever we are talking about two columns x and f there are different frequencies for different classes now the highest frequency concerning the particular class will become mode if this is the highest frequency this particular class relating to this frequency becomes mode so we'll be discussing three series again in this topic first will be individual discrete and continuous so first we'll be starting off with individual series now there is no such formula for computing individual series or also in discrete series although in discrete series we may have a particular different method of calculating grouped method of calculating mode now that grouped method is already discussed by amresh sir in this video which has been linked here and i'll be discussing individual series individual series for example we take like n number of numbers suppose x has 5 10 40 45 60 40 90 100 20 10 40 now this particular these set of observations have been given to us in individual series usually not like this in a laid out format in a paragraph form but considering this first we'll have to make a chart a chart in sense what x and f we have to declare the frequencies or the number of times a particular number is repeated just for convenience i'll add one more number so five now five is appearing two times in this observation so the frequency of 5 is 2, 10 is appearing twice, 5 is twice, 10 is twice, 40, 1, 2, 3, 45, it is only once, 60, once, 100, once, 20, once, Clear? Now you can count the number of observations in case you have missed any. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 90 will also be there. <coughs> Check if there are 12. 12. So we have taken all the observations into consideration. Fine. 12 numbers arranged according to their frequencies. Now, which is the number, which is the class having the highest frequency? 3. 3 is the highest frequency and 40 is the number relating to it. So, mode is 40. This is basically how you compute mode in individual series. It is very easy. The maximum observation, the highest observation that you see becomes mode. Fine. Next, we start off with discrete series discrete series is also very easy x f has been given to you 5 10 20 40 30 70 for example and frequency is 2 3 10 9 10 4, 3. So the highest frequency belongs to 30, this automatically becomes the mode. So the mode is 30. Remember the frequency is not the mode, the class relating to it is. Fine. These two series are very easy, very easy. The only problem, a little bit of problem you will face is in the continuous series because the formula is completely different from whatever we have done in median or mean. So 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट डाउन द फॉर्मूला फॉर कंटिन्यूअस सीरीज डिस्क्रीट सीरीज ऑल्सो हैज वन मोर मेथड a manual method of computing this in case two frequencies are same also you can uh, do using that method but it is very uh, how can i explain this it is a very long process very tiring so you have to take care about that so we'll be starting with continuous series first write down the formula so mode is equal to l1 plus now this l1 you remember from the formula of a median right this l1 is from the formula of median also F one minus F zero the clear that means lower limit plus F one is the I'll write each and everything down where L one is equal to lower limit of the selected class f1 is equal to frequency of the post mode class Make this brief. and i is equal to class interval so l1 is the lower limit of the selected class f1 is the frequency of the modal class itself f2 would be the frequency of the post modal class that means before it and pre modal class that means just above it so we'll do a sample sum you'll understand for example in frequency if there are supposedly five frequencies or six frequencies and supposedly this is 20 fine this will be f1 the above one would be f0 the below one would be f2 this is what it means premodal postmodal fine so we'll start with a sample sum i would prefer everybody writes it down this is something you need to remember and the formulas of these are basics because we'll be coming down to index numbers and everything then you know it you will find it tough to remember if you don't know at least what this is at least these are you know derived formulas but when you have to remember 10 steps to compute a particular sum it becomes tougher if there is just a simple short formula to remember that is way more easier than remembering 10 easy steps i'm telling you then we start off with the sum so we'll start off with the sum and uh, for an example let's take two columns as usual marks and number of students so 
so marks number of students so marks write down as usual 0 to 10 10 to 20 up till 60 4, 10, 25, 15, copy this down, hello, haan bolia, haan, haan usi se banega, haan, ok, ok, haan, done so after this the question is how do we select the frequency class or how do we select the model class now i told you the maximum number of frequency is the model class so what is the maximum frequency here 25 so the model class is this Twenty to 30 is our model class so now we take up the formula mode is equal to L1 plus Achha, these are not F1 there is a difference between writing F1 and F to the base 1 or F to the base 2 so you will have to remember these like you have to write to the base of something fine do not simply write down just one uh, uh, ahead of it Otherwise, it looks like you know you're multiplying something. This fine. So lower boundary is 20. This is L1 plus F1 is the frequency. This is what? F1, this is F0, and this is F2. The frequency 25 minus 10 divided by twice of f1 25 minus again 10 minus f2 that is 15 into what is the class interval i is equal to 10 how do we find this out 30 minus 20 this is the class interval the gap between the upper limit and the lower limit of the class is equal to find it out How much is the answer? Twenty-six. Now many a times you'll be getting the answer in uh, decimals. Maybe you might get in decimals in median and uh, mean also. What you have to keep in mind is, do not write down whatever answer is coming down in your calculator. For example, you're getting twenty-five point one six nine two seven eight. So do not write the entire digits that you are getting. Just consider up till three digits. And yes, some amount of approximation is allowed. In exams also, in real life also, some amount of approximation is allowed because many different calculator companies have different answers. It has been observed. Mobiles also, if you are using, you know, some different mobiles have different calculations, round off systems. So, but the, uh, you know, but we expect at least two, two digits after the decimal place is right. So, always give like at three digits after the decimal places to have an accurate answer do not go ahead of that okay and do not automatically round it off if your answer is supposedly 25.6666 just don't round it off to 26 write down 25.66 and put two recurring marks above it fine do not round off because in statistics this rounding off doesn't is not what we do we need an accurate figure now that can be a lit more or less um, you know variable just because of the calculators this is fine so this is how you compute 
mode in continuous series now there is something more to modes also some properties are there and one more method is left but that has already been covered by amresh sir so i have put the link in the description below you cover it from that well explained in details fine go step by step it is a very easy process but you'll have to remember the entire process so this is all we have left for mode